and welcome to Radio Friends. It's Wednesday, it's September the 19th, and I've got uh, my friend Vera Massey with us, University Extension. We're going to talk about our one topic today is taking care of you, right? Vera, welcome to Radio Friends. Oh, it's good to be here. Taking care of you can be a challenge sometimes. Yeah, I guess it can. But that should be one of our number one exactly. priorities, isn't it? And if you're thinking, gosh, I need to take get better care of myself, that's where you start because you become aware. Right. And, you know, some people say, well, I don't have time because I'm taking care of my mother, I'm taking care of my father, I'm taking care of the kids, I've got a job. But you realize you're taking care of all those other people and your job. If you don't take care of yourself first, you are not going to be able to take care of those other people and your job. That's so true. So true. And when you think about there are lots of strategies that we can use to take better care of ourselves. And sometimes you're right. When we need it the most is when we say we don't have time. But isn't that the best possible time? I read a sign the other day, or it was a poster, and it said, the most important time to relax is when you feel you don't have time, time. to relax. <laughs> and, and if you really tune into that and realize how true it is, yeah. You could have an opportunity to relax. Exactly. Even if you take just a little bit of, put a little bit of time aside just for yourself. And you know, that's, that's the other thing that's so powerful is that just a, a few moments of switching gears sometimes, whether mm -hmm. it's in your thought process that you're using, the negativity that we, we may find ourselves in, or it could just be simply standing up uh, from the desk if you've been at a computer for hours. Mm -hmm. and gaining a different perspective. But taking care of you, we, we think about it in that physical dimension of who we are. And our body, we definitely need to take care of as far as keeping it active and but moving. But mental is important. Mental yeah. is important as well as taking care of our spirit. Mm -hmm. And uh, when all of those three are somewhat in balance, uh, moving through life is easier. Mm -hmm even though there may be challenges at hand. Because you think about it, our mind, our body, and spirit are all interconnected. Interconnected. In fact, everything, everything on this earth is interconnected. That's right. And, and really, the sooner we become aware of that and um, maybe adjust our thoughts and actions, uh, what an amazing difference that could make, mm -hmm. not only in our lives, but in the lives of others that, that we're we close touch. to and right. beyond right. with our community and our world. All right. So you're, you're having a class? Is this a class with yes. extension? Yes. Um, it's a program we've talked about before that was based on some research we did, gosh, almost three years ago, where we brought people together and we're using um, some of the uh, positive psychology research we learn about, whether it has to do with appreciation, cultivating joy. Uh, as well as some of the mindfulness mm -hmm. based How do you, stress let's reduction. Back up just one minute. Yes. How do you cultivate joy? How do you cultivate joy? Well, I, I'm, just, I'm grinning now because for me, just thinking about something, you know, for those of you that are listening, you can't see what a great environment that we are in right now, the colors. Mm -hmm. And it brings me joy just by taking notice when I came in today, mm -hmm. that, that this whole environment, I, I saw this. I like color. It brought me joy. It can be as simple as that. Mm -hmm. um, it's as simple as... Um, the people you associate people with. People you associate with. I was looking forward to seeing you. So and I, I was felt, looking... And I felt joy yeah. just anticipating. Right. It doesn't have to be materialistic things. It doesn't have to be the trip I take, even though I might enjoy some of those things. Where we really cultivate joy is in our daily interactions. Mm -hmm. And it is there for us to experience regularly, even in some difficult times that right. we might find ourselves in. And living for the moment. Yes, because here's the thing, Paul, and you know this, we've all experienced it. We spend so much of our time in the past, or worried about the future that we are not in the now. It, it, that's, that's so true. A couple of days ago, James and I were talking, and we said, look at how, how fast time is going. It seems like it was just 
January, and we're already in September. Yes. And I started thinking, I thought, is it maybe because we are so concerned about all the things that we have to do, mm -hmm. what we have to do tomorrow, what we have to do next week, what we did last week that maybe didn't turn out the way it was supposed to, <laughs> that you're forgetting the precious moment that we're in right now. And you also, uh, it takes a lot of energy to, to stay that, in yeah. the past and, and be so concerned about the, the, the future. future that um, it could be something as glancing the, the sunrise and sunset. That can cultivate joy in your life. Yeah. But it's really tuning in. It's tuning in. We're on automatic pilot for a lot of our lives. We get accustomed to operating the same way in our thoughts, in our actions. And if it's serving you well, wonderful. Mm -hmm. But many times people find that it's not really going well. Mm -hmm. And so having an opportunity to sort of reflect on how things are going. Uh, could I have more joy in my life? Could I feel less stressed? Absolutely, there is that opportunity for all of us. So if people want to be a part of this class with University Extension, uh, yes. what do they do? Well, we're going to be starting a class up in early October. Okay. And I'll be having sessions on uh, Tuesdays, a 5.30 to 6.30 class for so people that have sort of that more traditional right. work schedule right. could join us. So this um, is going to be October 9. I'm looking here. October 9, 16, 23, 30, and November 6 and 13. Yes, and they do have to pre-register because okay. the class size is limited, and I always fill the classes. Okay, so if you're interested <laughs> in this. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Every time Vera's on, we take your phones start ringing off the hook, oh, don't yeah, they? Yeah, right. yeah. If you're interested in this class, Taking Care of You, Body, Mind, Spirit, sign up for it. Uh, the program fee is what? $25 for the six weeks. For, for the whole, six weeks? Yes. $25, yes. University Extension. And where are you having them? I actually will be at the Unity Center. We're okay. using that location. So and it's what's centrally the phone located. Phone number. The, our Extension office number is 445 okay. 9792. Four four five nine seven nine two, and they can call. We can send a link if they have access to the internet. Okay. Four four five nine seven nine two. Yes. Okay. If you're driving, don't call on the cell phone right now. Pull off the side of the road. Uh, four four seven. Four four. Oh four, my five. God. <laughs> nine seven nine two. Four four five nine seven nine two. Vera, thank you. A program yeah. directed Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers, KBIA. Our floor director, Danny Madison, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. Have yourself a, a good morning. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening.